Kia ora Andrew, can you tell me please, what does ambition mean to you? I think ambition is about wanting to get to where you want to go. Um, and so having some sense of goal, some sense of um, achievement, being able to measure that and having that drive to get there. Yeah. So are you ambitious? I, li I like to hope so. I think um, ambition, particularly when it comes to things like doing a PhD or um, doing starting a business or something like that, I tend to think that um, ambition is a nice way of saying stubborn. Um, stubborn is the not nice way of saying it, but it's sort of the same thing. It's um, perseverance and tenacity and just continuing to go um, even when things get difficult. And I think I try to do that with my PhD. Things get tough, tough sometimes, but um, I'm still here. I'm still doing it, so I haven't given up yet. So why do you think you're this way? Yeah, I think that the underlying value sets that get driven into you as a child are a really important fact factor. Um, so I was born in New Zealand, um, but obviously I am Asian, <laughs> Taiwanese, um, and my family is Taiwanese. Um, and work ethic is something that is a very strong factor or part of that value set. Um, not wanting to give up is um, also really important. So I think those sorts of values were instilled in me at a young age and have sort of not manifested in exactly those terms because those values have then been sort of shifted by going through school and interacting in a New Zealand culture. Um, but at the end of the day, it looks like ambition, yeah. And can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know other than yourself? Do I need to give a name or just No, like you can you can describe characteristics or you can give yeah. a name, whatever pops into your head. Yeah, I think I guess that what what then sets the difference between somebody who is just plodding along and doing the thing that needs to be done to somebody who is truly ambitious becomes somebody who sets that goal to be very far away from where they are now. Um, so I am of the sort. I, I, I am. I have a personality type that is more risk averse, and therefore my goals tend to be in smaller increments um, and more achievable. Um, and I guess ambition is more towards people who have goals that are very high and very far away and want to do big things and save the world and I don't know, make lots of money or <laughs> um, that sort of thing. So. Um, yeah, I guess there are some entrepreneurs that I know who have set very lofty goals. Uh, yeah, I think in New Zealand we definitely um, don't allow people to fail easily. Um, so there are high expectations placed on people. Um, this is something that I talk about with one of my good friends. Um, she went into med school, um, out of high school, thinking that it was what she had to do. Um, the expectations placed on her were quite high um, and she'd always been told that she was great and brilliant and wonderful and therefore um, had to do amazing things and it wasn't until the third or fourth year of med school before she actually thought to herself well is this actually what I want to do um, and I think there's, there were just not very many ways out um, there weren't many paths available for people who realised that the thing that they're doing or the path that they're on isn't the one that they want to be on um, and that limits your ability to be ambitious because you lose your motivation and you feel like you have to serve out your time to finish the thing that you're doing now before you can move on to the next thing um, and so I think a large driver of that is our attitudes towards people who change what they're doing or look like they're failing because they're changing what they're doing um, and the social pressures that are preventing people from doing that um, yeah, I guess that's that's the main thing that I think about is what else could I be doing if I wasn't on the path that I'm on now? Um, could I be doing something that's better or more valuable? Um, which is not to say that I regret the path I'm on now, but yeah, I think if I could do something else without being judged, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah.